Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope that you are all with my degrees of Almighty Allah. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine by the master of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIVS Home School. This is Vizal Rahman, Assistant Teacher of Student Studies of National Learning University School, Morning Shift, Monashi Dhaka. Today, I am going to take an Islamic Studies class for the students of Class 7. Our today's topic is Assignment Discussion, Class number Assignment Discussion 1. This is lecture number 25. Okay, dear students, let's start the board and listen. Chapter 1, lesson number 4, Hashid. This is the very important topic for your assignment because the bad result and consequences of shift come in the assignment. One question is on bad result and consequences of shift. So, we will discuss only firstly about definition of shift and types of shift and bad result and consequences of shift. There are three types of discussion today. Definition of shift and types of shift and last and final discussion is about bad result and consequences of shift. Okay, dear students, definition. Firstly, definition. There are two kinds of definition. What we mean and according to Islamic term. Dear students, the shift is an array called. It means make equal. Make equal partner or make equality with Allah, etc. According to Islamic terminology, to make equal any person or any things with Almighty Allah is known as shirk. Okay, dear students, if any person do shirk with Almighty Allah, he is called mushrik. And those who make shirk is called mushrik. Okay, dear students, then we we'll discuss kinds of shirk. We know that shirk are mainly three types. Number one or number A to associate one with Allah the Great. Okay, dear students, kinds of shirk are mainly three. Firstly, to associate anyone with Almighty Allah. Such as if any person believe on that, there are three types of God, such as believe Yahudi and Christian, those who believe that Allah is Allah and Isa is the his son and Maryam is the wife of Allah. It is the tyranny and it is all kinds of shirk. If any person believes that Allah has wife, father and mother, then it will be shirk. Such as Allah the Almighty about this question, sometimes Mushrik of Kuffar, Mushrik of Makkah, asked Prophet Muhammad by which thing Allah the Almighty created. Then Allah the Almighty about this answer revealed Surah al ikhlas Allah Say Muhammad, Allah is one and alone. Allah is Samad, Allah is in tears. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He not begot and nor was he begotten. Walam yakullahu kufu And there is no one who is to him. So, shit made any things. It is the first kind of shit to associate anyone with Allah the Great. It is the one kind of shit. And second type of shirk is to associate Allah, Allah's attribute, someone. Okay, dear students, if any person believe that the such as angels are the associate of Allah, Prophet Allah, who leading the whole universe, then it will be shirk. Because leading the world is the work of Almighty Allah. It is the attributes of Almighty Allah. If any person believe that, there is another kindness, kinds of Allah, another kinds of man without Allah, then it will be shirk. If any person believe that provider of food of anything without Allah, then it will be shirk. Because provide of food is the only attributes of Almighty Allah. Because Allah's name is Razak, Allah's name is Rahman. So if any person believe another person or another things as a Rahman, as a Razak, then it will be shirk. Okay. Number C and last one, last kind of shape is to associate other, others in the ibadat of Allah. <coughs> okay, dear students, Allah the Almighty says in the Holy Quran, "Oma khalaq tul jinna wal insa illa liyabudun." Surah Zayyar, Ayat 556. Allah the Almighty says in the verse, "I have created only mankind and jinn for my ibadat, for my worship." If any person do worship for anyone or any things such as worship for fire, worship for any big trees, or worship for any hills, <coughs> then it will be shirk. 
Because only Allah, we have to do ibadat only for Allah. If we do any ibadat for without Allah, then it will be shit. Such as if any person uh, sacrificed any animal without the name of Allah, then it will be all kinds of shit. Such as if any person who sacrificed any animal, any animal without Allah or any devi, then it will be shit. Okay, dear students, now we'll discuss about bad result and consequence of shit. It is the very important for your assignment. It is question number three. Bad result and consequences of shit. Allah already said in the Holy Quran, in the Shirka Rasul Nazim, Surah Luqman, verse number 30. Allah already said in the Holy Quran, in the Shirka Rasul Nazim. Verily, shit is the great reality. Because Allah already created us, He provided us food, He provided us water, He provided us yarn, everything Allah provided us. But if any person don't believe that Allah is not creator, Allah is not provider of food, Allah is not provider of air, Allah is not provider of our life, then it will be very great reality. Allah the Almighty, for this reason, said in the Surah Lokman, verse number 13, in the Shirka Lazum Nazim. In this, she is the great reality. Okay, dear students, in other verses, Allah the Almighty also said, in the Lord, I lie and fear, I ensure about it, why I fear, my Lord, as I can even ensure. Surah Al Nisa, verse number 116. Dear students, Allah the Almighty said in the Holy Quran, Surah Al Nisa, verse number 116. In the Lord, I lie and fear, I ensure about it. Indeed, Allah don't forgive the sins of tyranny, sins of shirk, and without shirk, any other sins, if he wish, will be forgiven. So, we have to be very careful about that. If we do any shirk, Allah will not forgive us. Allah will not forgive our sin. Without shirk, if any person make any kind of uh, sin, then Allah will be forgiven. If, if we uh, if we pardon with Allah, Allah the Almighty, then Allah will forgive us. So you have to be very careful about shit, and we have to do, we have to not do any, any kind of shit uh, in our daily life. If any person believes that, if not have my son, then we will be destroyed without getting any fruits. Then it will be all kinds of shit. Because son or any father, it, uh, he is not be able to give him food. He is not be able to give him reason. Only Allah the Almighty, provider of basic or provider of foods. So, we have to be believe that Allah the Almighty provider of food, Allah the Almighty provider of life, Allah the Almighty provider of death, everything is from Almighty Allah. If this belief, then you will, will be moving. If you don't believe that, then you will be kafir. And Allah the Almighty said in the Holy Quran, the Prophet said, if any person don't believe Allah, then he will go to the Zahanna and he don't ever come again to the heaven. So, as a Muslim, we have to believe on that Allah is the creator, Allah is the provider of food, Allah is the provider of air, Allah is the provider of everything for our life. Okay, dear students, I hope that you have understood today's topic clearly. Keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. Stay well. See you again very soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.